Hello there guys, Aaron Charlie here for Thrower Football, DRFC, your dog Strover's fan channel. That's it, pre-season is over. We have won 3-2. I'm happy with that performance. Not over it, overly excited, but I think it was a decent performance. The last 20 minutes and for spells in the first half and the second half and then obviously the last 20 minutes when they bombarded us with attacks... Um, Haruka had their spells, uh, but we definitely had some spells as well. There was moments where we had sloppy passing, uh, sloppy on the ball, sloppy on the touches, uh, but there were moments of brilliance. Like even even Tiago had a couple of spells where it, it looked all right. Uh, Callum Loyal's goal was decent, uh, but we've won three two. Um, against Harrogate Town at their stadium, and that is it. Pre-season is over, and on Saturday, the real work begins. Us against AFC Wimbledon to kick off our League One campaign uh, for this season. Uh, now, obviously, we're going to share uh, the lineups. We're going to share my thoughts on the match and share what I think we need to do against AFC Wimbledon. So... Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another video. And let's get straight into this one. So, we have to first take a look at the lineups. Uh, so, first of all, uh, Harrogate. Uh, they started with Oxley, Page, Falkingham, Burrell, Thompson, Martin, Patterson, Muldoon, Hall, McArdle, and Armstrong. With Fallowfield, Smith, Cracknell, Orsi, Sharon, Kerry, and Power as the substitutes. Uh, now, for us, we had Jones, Noyle, Williams, um, Anderson, Rowe, and then we had Smith, Reed, Gardner, Barlow, Bogle, and uh, Chakur. Uh, now, Bogle was playing out wide, Gardner was playing in the midfield three, uh, and on the bench, we had Bottomley, John, Hassani, Blythe, and a trialist that was not used, uh, but we also brought on... Uh, Harrison, Ed Williams, Horton, Seaman. Uh, we also brought on another trialist and brought on uh, the backup goalkeeper to uh, Lewis Jones for the day, which was, of course, another trialist. Uh, now, obviously, in terms of trialists, um, Shane Harrison, we had a trialist on the bench, which hasn't been named yet. Uh, as of recording this, the backup goalkeeper has been named as QPR former goalkeeper Dylan Barnes. Uh, now, the trials that replaced Reed hasn't been named and is not going to be named by the free press yet. However, from the pictures of him warming up and from what we saw on the pitch, it's very likely that is the, in fact, that is pretty much certain it is the former Derby, uh, Luton, and also former Melbourne Victory centre midfield, uh, very experienced in the Football League, Jacob Butterfield. Uh, now, I don't think anything will come of these trialers, to be honest. I think it is literally just minutes. Um, so, obviously, those were your lineups for the game. Uh, now, obviously, you're probably thinking, what was the game like for those of you who didn't see it? I think Rovers, like I said, they had their spells. They had their minutes of of, of domination. Harrogate had their minutes of domination. Last 20 minutes of the entire match, Harrogate were just bombarding us left, right, and centre with attacks. Uh, nothing could get past Dylan Barnes, though. You know, I was really glad to see him get between the sticks for the, the last 20 minutes or so and, um, you know, just, just, just get between the sticks and, you know, just go for it. And uh, he, did, he did do that. Uh, now... Obviously, Lewis Jones in goal doesn't look great on confidence at the moment. And I am hoping it is just pre-season. I'm hoping he just gets back to, back into training and, you know, just keeps improving. Because he is going to be our number one this season. You know, don't matter who else we're bringing in terms of, you know, a lone goalkeeper or whoever we're bringing in. Um, you know, it's very important that we get Jones on confidence because an unconfident Jones will let in a lot of goals. So we've got to be confident in our goalkeeper. We've got to get him back on confidence. Got to get him back to full confidence in himself. And, um, you know, just prove that he's worth this squad. You know, he's a homegrown talent. He's going to be our number one for, you know, the long term. He's going to be our number one for uh, the future. So we do need to put the confidence in Lewis Jones. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll do that before uh, the season opener on Saturday. Uh, now, obviously, my standout player's got to be Carl. It, 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 it's, it's between two for me. Uh, Carl Noyle and Dan Gardner. Dan Gardner was a standout in the midfield today. Smith and Reed, Lewis Reed. To me, they look uh, uncharacteristically loose on touches, and they were loose on the ball at times. Dan Gardner was just all over the pitch. He was firing one end. He was getting involved, getting in the play. 
um, you know, was involved in the Carlin Oil goal and also scored a 25 yarder screamer, uh, by the way, as well. So, you know, I, I think Dan Garner really showed he was the best of the midfield three today. And, um, you know, if we don't sign Harrison, I'd like to see us sign Gardner instead um, to bring in that extra depth. And I think it's someone that could be useful as well. Aidan Barlow, obviously, coming in the uh, squad today. I think he looked good at times. He wasn't afraid to run at defenders. I think that Barlow had that extra edge about him. Bogle looked uncomfortable on the wide front. I've got to say this. Bogle looked uncomfortable on the wing. But that's not his fault. That's because we've got no depth in the wing position. So, you know, I, I think he was just trying to try Bogle out on the wide, use his build-up play. Because build-up play has always been the strength for Bogle. It was just his finishing that we need to improve on. Uh, and his positioning and goals has definitely improved from last season. So I give Wellens credit for that and Bogle credit as well for, obviously, for uh, improving the positioning and how he gets into goal positions. Um, so I think he wants to use the positioning strength and the improvement in positioning as well as the, the build-up play strength that Bogle has and put him on the wide front. Apart from the head of chance, he did look quite uncomfortable on the on the wing, and of course came off for uh, Ed Williams that didn't really do a whole lot, to be honest. So um, I think that, you know, it was good to, for Wellens to try Bogle out on the wide front, use his strength and build-up play, and his improvement in positioning on the wide front, and then have Chakur up front uh, firing in the goals. But again, I, I, I think it's just square pegs around holes. Hopefully we'll get a, a winger sorted for that position. Uh, obviously we know that Fajiri Okunabiri won't be ready for the, the start of the season now. We know that Teller won't be ready until about Warsaw, the Carabao Cup match. So we do need to bring in another winger, whether that's Gardner, Harrison. Obviously we've got Barlow now. So uh, obviously Hawul is still yet to come back as well. So, you know, we, we, we've got to find some kind of answer before uh, AFC Wimbledon on Saturday. Um, but apart from, you know, look, picking out the constructive criticism in this match, I think that we did show some good moments. There were times where we were dominant on the ball. We, there were times where we put Harrogate on the back foot. And I think that there was times where we did show our class. And I think that there was times we definitely showed that. So, um, you know, overall, I think there's negatives to take from it, but there's also positives to take from it. So, um, you know, it definitely felt like the last preseason match where we were just emptying the fitness tank of preseason get you ready to install the regular season fuel tank and just get ready to to, to get set go um but i give my credit to harrogate they did show some great moments fair play to the fans um <laughs> there were some funny moments going on uh, in the game um i think someone asked tom anderson what are you having for your tea or something like that i think i saw that on twitter so uh, i thought that was quite funny <laughs> and um when well and to be fair I don't, i'm not too sure whether it was jones or reed he was directing it to but wellings um sort of you know shouted out to to lewis i'll say lewis don't know which one but lewis looked like it was jones after the clear pass that could have given harrogate a goal but again re was involved in that play as well so it could have been any of them uh but wellens basically said to look to, to lewis um lewis you are starting to pee me off now <laughs> and you know what to be fair i love that surety and that sort of aggression from a manager you need that so i think that you know, it was right to say that because the, because Lewis Jones didn't look comfortable at all. Lewis Reed didn't look at all comfortable at times and looked uncharacteristically loose on the ball. So, you know, he needed that surety. And I think some people were saying on Twitter a hard time, if I were Lewis Jones, I'd be afraid to go in that dressing room for the absolute rollicking he's about to receive from Wellens. So I think that overall, I think Wellens a good, assured manager. So it's exactly what we need. Uh, but... 3-2, we win on pre-season's end, we finish pre-season on a victory, now the real season starts. We will have Premier League, Championship, League 1 and League 2 uh, table prediction videos coming to you very, very soon in the next few couple of days. Stay tuned for that. Uh, but what do we need to do against AFC Wimbledon? We just need to go for it because let's be brutally honest shall we AFC Wimbledon are not the strongest opposition in this league they are tipped to be amongst the relegation battlers that's that's where they're predicted to be amongst the relegation battlers no offense to AFC Wimbledon but we need to win this we need to kick off with a win and show what we can do uh before that uh that classic Sheffield Wednesday derby the following week so we need to show our presence we need to show our assurity we need to show our full force attack and we need to show we'll go for it so 
Don't worry about the lineups and the graphics, etc., because we're getting them updated, ready for the season. The graphics that you've seen during the preseason is just preseason graphics uh, for this channel. Uh, we will have updated ones which I've already completed. I cannot wait to show you them on the preview on Friday. Really can't wait, and uh, it's going to be a good one. So. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this final preseason review. Stay tuned on Friday for the first preview of the regular season from AFC Wimbledon. Uh, that will be coming on Friday. But for now, guys, I'm Aaron Chandler from Thrower Football, DRFC. Keep living the Rovers life. And that, my friends, full-time Rovers side die. Thank you very much. The season starts right now. Rovers till I die. I